Hey guys, so today I want to do another Dungeoneering video. So the other day I did an introduction to Dungeoneering in the AOC video, but they've obviously they've made it harder since. They've done a couple of changes to increase the difficulty, basically increasing the LP of monsters and the increase in damage that they do to you. So I do want to do another video showing you how it's changed and basically how hard it is now. As you, If you saw my video the other day, which I'll put a link on to the screen right now, you'll see that it's really, re it was really easy. I mean, it was too easy. I learned a lot of people like it being easy, but it was just ridiculous. So this video should show you the changes they've made, and generally just how difficult it is now. Obviously I'll only be doing a solo dungeon, so you have to take into account if you're doing a large with five people, it would be a little bit harder than this obviously will be. However, soloing is actually decent XP now. Right guys, so I've recorded a full medium floor. Um, it is sped up to two times, so obviously it looks, it looks a little bit faster. So obviously not much has changed in terms of what I do at the start of a dungeon. Now I did this dungeon again without food, and to try and make them equal in terms of what I did in the last dungeon to this one. Now there has been one thing that has really brought to my attention for a UTPM, which is really damn awesome, and I didn't actually know this, that if you bind a staff, that staff will be able to cast any elemental spell. So in the previous video, I actually said that you cannot use magic and ranged because you can't have two ammo binds. Well, this was wrong. You can actually bind a staff and you'll be able to cast any elemental spell because that staff has pretty, is pretty much like a fire staff or a water staff sort of thing, but all in one. So that's pretty awesome to know. So anyway, getting on with the dungeon, again, it's still reasonably easy. But to be honest... The fact is, I'm using no food, and the problem, the thing is, Soul Split seems to be so powerful in dungeons now compared to how it was, because right now I'm, I'm not using any food, but I'm, so, again, you'll see in this dungeon I take no deaths, and I do it with just Soul Split. That's the only healing I do, and I find that, like, I mean, with with prayers, you're gonna you're gonna need food, and I don't know how much you'll need. Because I'm not really sure how... I know Soul Split's got a cap on it now, so it's a lot harder to really work out how much you're actually healing. But the mobs are doing a lot more damage to you. The time it takes to kill the mobs is a lot bigger now. They do have definitely a big increase in LP, and it makes the time for killing them a lot more reasonable, in my opinion. I think it was a bit too fast early. Obviously, a lot of them were incorrect, like the Primal Warrior still had its old HP, etc. But... What I found is, when you're out of combat for a long time, if you go on a streak with no GDs, you're not going to be killing any monsters, and you take a lot of damage, because well, your heat LP starts to get low, because you obviously you're not using Soul Split to heal. Now, if, you, if you're looting food, you should be perfectly fine in any floor. But once your prayer runs out, you're pretty much dead. I mean, prayer is really what keeps you alive. That is how it all, was always in Dungeoneering. And I think it's a lot more balanced now in terms of how it should be. Obviously, I still get through this floor without using any food. And I think that's probably, in a solo, that's probably more understandable because the floor doesn't take very long. Um, while in a large, if your prayer runs out, you really are going to need food while your prayer's out until you find an altar. Obviously, making an altar is a waste of time in a dungeon and not recommended. And taking one death to get prayer back is probably worth it. That's the thing. I don't. I don't. It's, it's hard to die. I found. You really don't come close to dying. As you can see, I'm just, all I'm doing is using my abilities. And also, one thing that you probably should have on your bar, which is very helpful if you're going a long time without a GD, is to have Regenerate on your bar. This will use any remaining, um, any remaining adrenaline to heal you. This is a very good ability. Obviously, it uses no prayer or anything. And that will really help, like, save your LP in a dungeon. Obviously, uh, the other benefit, the other side effect is that keeping your bar up, Keeping your bar up will mean you're closer to your threshold abilities in the next Guardian door if you're moving through it quite a pace. Like I am, as you can see, my adrenaline starts to drop, but by the time... It's not going to drop to fully empty sometimes by the time I start the next Guardian door, which means I have an advantage. Now, in my last video, I also got this boss. So, this last time I had prayer and it was leveled like 26. This time it's 134, so you can tell they've definitely buffed it. But even still, I get through this boss reasonably easy. No prayer... And it hit me like once or twice. It is really easy. But I think this is more about right for solo. Um, obviously I'm experienced at Dungeoneering. I know a lot of people might not be so much. But it's still, I find it's reasonably easy. It's definitely on the right lines. It's definitely a lot better than it was. But in my opinion, it could do with a little bit more damage on your character. And the need, 
the need to use food should be there at least a little bit.